I'm putting together a couple little twitch baits for uh, pre-spawn in the spring. Uh, they're going to be a little flashy on the tail and they're going to be very tiny so that they should make pretty quick and uh, they should also be a little tricky to work with because they're so small. The goal is for them to just slowly sink and then um, twitch with a little little flashaboo on the tail. Um, hopefully entice the bass. I've got some uh, fly tying hooks which um, seem to look like they fit just about right. I'm going to put it right here. Hopefully it'll be enough to uh, catch fish. I've got this old piece of pine that I've had a long time and made baits on. I'm hoping to get some basswood down the road. Uh, that'll, that'll happen in a few weeks. I'm keeping this video pretty much desk oriented so you didn't see the cutting out of the lures on the bandsaw. The hook's going to sit in the back of the lure, uh, much like you see in some swim baits and uh, stick up out of the, uh, out of the center point. Um, in the back. A little epoxy will hold this in nicely. The lure is so small, there's not much wood to take off, but boy, it's hard to hold on to when I get it done right. Notice the slot I'd cut previously with a bandsaw uh, at the tail end of the uh, lure. This is um, to insert a, a, a sort of a, a tail fin in the end. It's going to actually be a little more flash than fin. Where I live here at the lake in southern Maine, uh, you can see that I won't be fishing these for a while. It won't be until, oh, the end of April before ice goes out probably, and a little while later before I get back out on the lake. I'm laying in the hooks and a little bed of epoxy and uh, after it dries I'll go over it with some baking soda and super glue to uh, anchor it in and so I can sand it off afterwards. There are lots of choices for sealing the bait. Um, super glue soaks in, dries really fast so I can keep working on it. Otherwise, a little bit of sanding sealer would be just fine. To get a handle on how this bait is going to float, I want it to uh, sink a little. Start off by getting the density of pine using a scale and uh, measuring it. And then getting the uh, mass of the lure. Everything has to be in metrics, of course, for it to work. So a little math, but I won't bog you down with it. Uh, pine at four grams and eight cubic centimeters. Um, 
The density would be 4 grams divided by 8 cubic centimeters, mass divided by volume, so it's about 0.5 grams per cubic centimeter. The hook is negligible, I weighed it, it doesn't even show. Water has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter, so anything greater than 1 will sink, anything less than 1 will float. And the pine is 0.5, so it's definitely going to float really good. The lure's mass is 4 grams, so to sink, I need to uh, make sure this thing is at least 8 grams. I need to add some weight. So we'll add a little lead and a hole in the belly towards the front. And it still floats and it's head first. So I need to add a little mass on the back end. So another hole and uh, a little mass towards the back. It's not easy to get the mass eight grams or less by doing this, but I uh, guesstimate and then I uh, drill out a little bit of the lead should I need to, to get it to uh, float better. And right now it's a little over eight grams. So it is sinking, but still tail up and uh, for a twitch bait this is great I can uh, twitch it across the bottom and time to paint we'll start off by uh, putting a black surface on it because I want to uh, get the silver and black underneath always looks good and then I want to put a thin layer of UV resin and cure it just to smooth things out and now for some layers of Createx um, Wicked Aluminum to give it that silvery color. And a small scale pattern using some uh, cloth screening. For the first lure, um, I'm going to use a fluorescent blue. And for the second lore, fluorescent green. A splash of gold for the gills along the gills of both lures. And now for some opaque black along the back, a little bit down the sides, and of course around the eye sockets. And using a small pattern, two black line crescents on each side of the head for the gills. It's 
some clear or silver iris eyes for the, uh, the greenish lore. I decided to use some of these commercial ones instead of the ones I made. Time to use them up and these little lures are a good place for it. And I've got some red iris eyes for the blue lure. And this is the final coat of UV resin uh, before it goes into the UV chamber. I've got a little bit of silver flake in it, which will give us a little, a little flash in the water, I think. You can sort of see it now, actually. And now for a little flashaboo, I'm just going to use some rubber skirt material, a little epoxy in the slot, and I'm going to put these strands in one at a time. Thank you. 